Jeff here with Mr. Hardwater. Behind me here is our standard hopper system. And in previous videos, we described uh, the features that go along with the standard hopper system and how they work and what they can be used for. This video is uh, describes some of the upgrades you can make to the standard hopper to bring it up to the level of the carbureted hopper system. Now you might find that you have some intermittent flow here or you might have some trouble moving the media uh, through the 20 feet of hose that comes with the hopper system um, to the surface and the reason for that is going to be the friction in the hose and the resistance of the media within the hopper itself. So in order to overcome those restrictions and those forces we have an upgrade uh, which is the Venturi assisted carburetor. So the first uh, upgrade to this system here is going to be the Venturi assisted carburetor which comes in its own case, very sturdy case, the lid pops up and what happens here is it comes with a hose and it comes with all the parts that you can use to upgrade this system to the Venturi assisted carburetor. And in other videos I'm sure you've seen the pictures of the pressure regulator assembly bolted here and the uh, Venturi assisted carburetor placed under here and the hose that connects it up. And that's what we use to deliver the forced air from an air compressor uh, to the hopper system in order to make the systems run smoother, in order to push the media a further distance, and in order to work with heavier medias. So this is the first upgrade that I'd recommend um, if you are using the standard hopper. So what I'll do now is I'll set aside the, uh, the Venturi Assisted Carburetor uh, upgrade. I'll put that off to the side here. And another important upgrade that I like on these systems is to use uh, a twist lid. Now you'll see that the twist lid here comes with the collar and also comes with the vented lid and it comes with some screws. So to upgrade this system, then all you need to do is take off your snug fitting lid and put the collar on like this and then use the screws to screw it in to the rim and then you can twist on your lid and you've upgraded your standard hopper to this lid. So that's a really nice feature. Now as you know this hopper contains a hundred pounds of media which can get pretty heavy. So another upgrade to this system is the locking casters. And the way the casters work is that they are uh, uh, threaded here and what you do is you simply untwist the feet that come on the standard hopper and you can thread these up into here and now you've created uh, a four-wheel system here with the casters. So that's a really nice upgrade on the system. And now finally, another important upgrade to the standard hopper is to add an additional gun. There's going to be cases where you're going to need a zero degree tip in order to localize your spray pattern on a calcium ring around the pool or some other situation where you need a direct force. In order to do that, you're going to need to upgrade to the zero degree gun. And the zero degree gun is already uh, fitted to sit onto the standard hopper with the additional ring and the hook here. So if you were to go ahead and get the additional gun, then what I recommend doing too is getting the, um, the pressure gauge and the manifold splitter. Now this gauge is going to connect onto your pressure washer so you can gauge how much pressure is coming out of the pressure washer. And then from there it's going to go to the manifold splitter and now you can alternate between the two different guns. And in order to do that, you're going to need an additional uh, piece of high pressure hose. Because with your pressure washer, it comes with one hose, which you're already using. But to make use of the second gun and make it more efficient, where you can just switch back and forth, you're going to need uh, an extra uh, 50 feet of blue non-marking hose in order to switch the, uh, the guns back and forth. Now finally, the, the other uh, upgrade to this system would be to get some more hose, and this is a 100 foot reel of hose. Oftentimes, we'll, we'll cut this in half to make two 50 foot reels, or sometimes you can even use it as one 100 foot piece if you want. So remember, if you're using the uh, Venturi assisted carburetor in here, what you're going to want to need to do is you're going to need to get some additional longer hose because now the carburetor is going to compensate for the friction and the resistance and you're going to be able to push that media further. So therefore you're going to need uh, a little bit more hose. So overall then, if you've 
gone ahead and purchased the standard hopper system and you want to make some upgrades to it to bring it up to the uh, carbureted hopper, those are some of the things you can do. You can get an extra gun, get, some, uh, get the manifold splitter, get a new lid, put on some wheels, and get the new hose, and you are good to go. So if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. Thank you.